Guys who like to play that game, what would you do for a million dollars? I just spent 10 days with like five guys. You guys can play that all day. What would you do for a million dollars? What would you do for a million dollars? That game should actually just be called, how much money would it take for you to be gay? <laughs> right, because does that game always start out one way, but it fucking ends like a totally different way? Like it always starts out with something like, hey dude, would you shave your head for a million dollars? But it ends with, would you blow Steve for a million dollars? It's like you're testing your friends to see how much money it would take. And you guys all know you have that one guy friend that would do it for a lot fucking less than he should. And it's awkward, right? He comes flying out of the corner, he's all like, dude, I'll blow Steve for $10,000. That's a lot of money. Where the fuck is Steve? Is somebody calling him or what are we doing? We're getting him to Steve coming over. He's coming over, right? <laughs> Ladies don't play that game, right? Ladies, we don't play that game. You can't be like, hey, Jody, would you... Go down on Cindy for a million dollars? I'm like, uh, I did it for a shot of tequila. Jody Miller is on the Adam Carolla show. Oh yeah. I listen, I don't I got a big beef with people who don't engage in hypotheticals. And I don't know, <laughs> I know. why. It bothers the fuck out of me. I know. I was with uh, Mike August uh, hanging out at Drew's place, as f- formerly mentioned, and for some reason I I played the Admiral Levine, Avril Levine yeah. game, which I don't think I played with Joe, and I don't think you even know what that game is. I do not. I don't know. Do you know is. who Admiral Levine is? No. See, this is it's an interesting thing. You have to watch either Fox or you have to go somewhere right of of CNN to know who Avril. Admiral Levine is because <laughs> Admiral Levine is a laughing stock because it's a he she head of health and human secretary whatever. Oh They're, right. It's oh the right. Tranny. Yes. Yes. It's yes. the tranny because they're a diversity yeah. hire or whatever it is. Progressive but something. Looks very something. similar to uh, Avril. No. They look a little similar. No. Have they ever been in the same room? No. Have they ever their names. The they sound the same. <laughs> There's Avril Lavigne and Admiral Lavigne. That's the skater boy she was talking about. And the game, and you, I, this picture of Admiral Lavigne is way too regal. There's some shit show pictures of <laughs> this is a professional shot yeah. that's been like touched up and whatever. There's some pictures of this wreck at the podium that is insane. But anyway, I said to Mike, look. We're going to play the Admiral Levine, Avril Levine game. Great. We put him on the wheel. Now, Joe, Avril Levine's pretty hot, and there's no scenario I can dream of where you would actually get a shot at that sexually <laughs> okay. in, in a thousand lifetimes. Okay. Maybe a million lifetimes. Okay. Never <laughs> happening. Never going never. Never gonna to happen. But with this one. But <laughs> if you want to try the wheel, I can't give you a shot at her. Now, I'll start at 50-50. Do you spin the wheel? Whatever that, it lands on, you got a bad. Absolutely not. Not not going to do it. Not going to do it. Okay. No. I've had, you know, okay. I might not get Avril Levine, but I've had my fair share in the day. You and did I'm okay. Not, and I'm not you did okay. But chance it. A- Avril Levine is not only a, a name, yeah. but that will also lead to more pussy. Oh. Like Pete Davidson mm. does, mm. you know what I mean? He bang he bangs one hot chick, and, and all the other chicks them. want to suck his dick. You see how that works? So yes. you can use yeah. her as a stepping stone. Okay. All right. So now we're going back to the wheel. Yeah. Would you? I could go seventy percent Avril Levine with a thirty percent oh. Admiral Levine. Seventy. Yeah, I was I was gonna say you it, as long spin. as it's two two to one, I'll I'll take it. You'll if take it's, it. If it's sixty six. Repeating in 33, I'll, I'll go. You I'll do spin that. The All right. So Mike August said it would have to be 99 to 1. Wow. And then wow. I go, you're never going to get another shot at Avril Lavigne. <laughs> and he goes, he doesn't care. And I said, what about 95-5? And he's like, no. And I'm like, don't bullshit a bullshitter, Mike. You got you to get a shot at Avril. Oh, let me show you one of her videos from the 90s or whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah, Let's see if I can't change your mind a little bit. And he's like, no, can't, not even, couldn't chance, couldn't even even chance, even a 1%. It's too high. I explained to Mike, if it's 1%, it lands on Admiral Levine, that's divine intervention. Yes, that is meant to be. To be pegged by Admiral Levine or something. You're supposed to be with him. Right. Her. They. Right, right. Her. So (laughs) he said, no, I lost a little respect for him. What what are you, are you 50-50? Would you take it? 
it depends when you would have got hold of me. Like okay. when I was 23, I would have spun that. Even a 51 You're like, it's a good story either way. Yeah, even at a deficit, I would have spun that wheel. I didn't have much to lose. You know, I rode a motorcycle back then. You know, I didn't care. Uh, As I got older and a little more seasoned, you know, and a little more experienced, I I thought, yeah, I I would probably have, I'd have to go over 50% for sure. And I'd probably have to get, I'd have to be with Joe. I'd I'd have to be a two to one. And then if I lost, it'd just be a great story. You know what I mean? Great story. Yeah. God. Mm -hmm. I almost want you to lose. I want it to happen. Yeah. What about you, Jody? I don't don't know if you apply to this wheel, but I think you could. Kind of win win all around for you, right? Yes. Win, win. (laughs) There's no losing here. I don't know what the question is. Uh, God. You know, it's so funny because I think it's that you're picking Avril Lavigne, who I do think is attractive, but she's not the like hottest girl in the world. I just don't think she is. She's not the hottest. She's How not, about it's not, I got like, only it's not like Cindy Crawford in the 90s. No, it, you know it, what I mean? it's true. And the, the game only exists because I was listening to the radio and someone said Admiral Levine and I thought it was, they said a- Admiral, Admiral Levine. Right. I've, got a, I've got a version for her. Okay, yeah. Adam Levine. Okay. Mm. Admiral Levine. There you go. Mm. Adam, yes. Mm. Uh, I actually don't find... All right, screw the no, game. But, but wait, if but you wait. don't find anybody attractive, no, 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 you can't no, no. play this game. Uh, I can tell you this though: I did see Maroon Five at a Byron Allen Oscar party a couple of years ago, and I—I I mean, I like Maroon Five; they're fine. I've never been on that like, oh my god, Adam Levine, I'll suck his dick right now. But as they play, I was like sitting, you know, where, you know, as far from Maroon Five as I'm from Adam right now, and I got it. I got it. You get it. Yeah, I all got right, it. Let's when get he was, back to the yeah. wheel. So, all right. 50-50? We start at 50-50. Yeah. You do 50-50. It? Good for you. Good because for I you. can close my eyes. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> and choke down Adam I Levine. Don't. I feel like my <laughs> nose would still work, though. <laughs> All right, let's do some news. Where are we? Uh, Buster Rhymes uh, cursed out some fans who were on their phone at the Essence Festival. He, Uh-oh. He said, I ain't from that era. He, uh, he went on a... a Swearing rant at the uh, at the fans at the Essence Festival because they wouldn't put down their you, camera phone. You cannot tell people. People can. Oh, do we have a clip? We do have a clip. Oh, let's oh. play it then. Good. Hey, yo, fuck them camera phones too. Let's get back to interacting like humans. Put them weird ass devices down. I ain't from that era. Them shits don't control the soul. Fuck your phone. Excuse me, gentlemen. Thank you very much. I will point every last one of y'all out until y'all asses is up. I need a guy to do thunderclaps for me. Seriously. the best part. I don't give a fuck. All age groups, get your ass up now. I see you, beautiful queen. Get up too. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that thunderclap. I need that. What's going on? Everybody up top too. Get your and the Negro bounces. That's what Joey Lawrence. I mean Joey Lawrence. <laughs> Joey Lawrence. <laughs> That's different Joey. The reason why there will be zero tolerance for bullshit uh. energy in here is because this is my first time in New Orleans at the fucking 30th anniversary of the Essence Festival. Wow. This, this, right. this my first time. This my brother first time. And it's my other brother first time. That's right. Make me feel like we home. Hey, yo, if you want to turn it up, say turn it up. Say turn it up. I got play Don't Stop Believing. Turn, <laughs> turn up. We're playing Cold Hearted Snake. Here it comes. Uh-oh. Oh, girl. Girl, don't play the fool. <laughs> it's always so insulting. All right. So, um, good. Here's the thing about the phone. It's, it's like chapstick. Put it in your pocket. You're going to bust it out every 18 seconds and just use it. Uh, or you don't have to at all. But right. the people who need it, it's like they're they're just like, uh, you're talking to them like 40 seconds later sitting in air conditioning. They're like, eh, let me get this jam stick out again. And you're like, you don't need this. You cannot use it your entire life. Mm-hmm. but Or you just use it four times in seven minutes. Like, mm-hmm. it's a thing. And the reason... I never bring my phone into the studios because I would want to look at it. Right. So you have to kind of know thyself, and you just got to shut the shit off and put it in your back pocket. Well, a lot of clubs, when you're for comedy, concert. this is yeah. a comedy, they make you put it in a bag mm-hmm. and seal it up. Uh, you can go outside to use it, but you cannot use it, obviously, in the theater, which yes. I think is great. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. But, All right. So I, yep. I, um, I'm with Buster on uh, and his. <laughs> Uh, he also has a uh, Buster. Buster. I, I Busta, Buster. <laughs> I listen to the Jewish rapper Buster Hyman. Bus? I know Buster. Yeah. Hyman. Buster Hyman. Yeah. Yeah. Do so uh, like a virgin. <laughs> was a virgin. Was in a big song. Buster Hyman. Girl. Girl, don't play the fool. Uh oh. Buster, Buster Hyman. Uh oh. Uh-oh. So uh, I'm with him in that. There's nothing worse than people staring at their phone or having right. a fucking yeah. conversation when you're trying to perform or whatever it is. On the other hand, you get paid a lot of money. Yep. This comes with the territory. Yep. Push it on through. Mm-hmm. I've, I've done a million shows. It's We've like, all done a million shows. It's like being the check spot when they yeah. just, the checks yeah. put down. Everybody looks yeah, at their put check. Put the check God down. The, yeah. the waitress has a little mini flashlight he's out. He's he's at, he had this and you he, had that. <laughs> you hear the guy like, do you take <laughs> diners, car, yes. diners Club? Like we go to Diners Club. Traveler's this Tracks. Day. Traveler's take, Tracks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a, you just push it through. Just push through those shucks. All right. Rapper P. Diddy agrees with uh, Buster Rhymes. Oh, he does. Yeah, yeah, he does. said, do not look at your is phone he... ever. Don't believe anything you're seeing on your phone right now. Ignore mm-hmm. your phone. Is he entirely. back in the States, mm. P. Diddy? Is he yeah. here? Just that from... He's Where living he? his best life. <laughs> yeah. Last I saw him, he was whitewater rafting on here? TMZ. Or I thought he was in Bahamas. Did he go to the Bahamas? He was <laughs> whitewater rafting <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> I don't. You can do it here. You can do can. it, but you can do it in New Zealand. You know, that's so that's I don't. Right. I don't know. I can't tell by the water. You can't. Yeah, not visually. No, mm. if I could taste it. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, it was funny because uh, this deep fake, cheap the cheap fake things, but like these videos are, are doctored. You know, mm-hmm. that we're not showing. And then the people that are showing the video are going. The, well, the, it is an edited version of, of, of an event of the Joe Biden oh, or the okay. stuff. And they go, that's him looking like someone unplugged his jukebox at the Juneteenth <laughs> event on the White House lawn. And then Morning Joe goes, that's a edited video. Right. Mm-hmm. And so here's what I'm saying. And, and the answer is. Yes, it's an edited video because Patty LaBelle did 45 minutes and they're not going to show mm, 45 mm. minutes of Joe Biden standing there, but they will show 30 seconds of him looking weird and wrong right. in, in this thing. But it's so it's it's a it's a piece of that video, but we can't show the whole video. And then people go, uh, I was arguing with Eric Griffin about this. He's like, well, it's edited video. And I I forgot to tell him, but here's my answer. OK, tell us now. P. Diddy showing that his pimp hand was pretty strong and the, mm-hmm. the hotel video is edited video mm-hmm. because there's a surveillance camera that runs every night for 24 hours right. and every day. Right. So it is a piece of that video that is showing somebody doing something. Right. Can we sign off on that concept then? Yes. It's yes. not the entire video. The entire right. video is three months. Yes. Of people losing their keys and walking on the wrong floor and then getting back onto the elevator drunk. That's yes. But we took only 30 seconds right. of a video. So, yes, it was edited, but I wouldn't call it a cheap fake. Mm-hmm. I would say he did the thing. No, he did because th- that, that section of that video that was edited was not edited. So, it's the. It, That's the, right. The you incident can't edit wasn't within ed- the video. Yes, the, ed- yes. The, it was, the incident itself was not edited. The That's video was. Correct. Yes. That's correct. Okay. Clarity? Do I have clarity now? Or do we have now, to show the entire was P. of every Diddy video? Rafting. Where was he? Was that edited? He was <laughs> having the time of his life on a whitewater raft. Sounds like he's had more Sounds fun like it was time. Edited. Just, by the way, a whitewater raft whitewater rafting is the exact opposite of prison. Okay. <laughs> You're right. Did what what, what, what is rafting? what is further apart? Yeah, right. You know, what I mean, confined to a windowless cell. Yes, maybe versus white water raft. Maybe jumping out of a plane. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Or but it's just not or... a. You're not. You you you're probably you may be scared. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And and you're mm-hmm. not with a group of people that are enjoying the shit out of it as right. well. That's Why true. want a rafting? It's like five people yeah, having a lot of fucking people. time a lot of, of their life. Yeah. And as free and open as you can physically. And wet. You're literally just being taken by yes. nature. You know. Right. So it's a little scary. It is okay. the op. 
Yeah, well, it's it's a thrill, but it, thrill. I've done it a few times. It's like it's thrilling, but it is the very opposite of prison. Mm-hmm. So maybe he's doing the most opposite of prison. Right. Like maybe he's just going to go right yeah. back to the top <laughs> of the mountain and jump back in the yeah. raft and go right back down right. again. All if right, you're in prison, tell- you're like, I just want to get out. And if you're on a raft, you're like, I hope I don't fall, fall out. out. He was in Wyoming. Oh. And uh, I believe we have a picture of it. I don't. I do not think I've ever seen five a, black men whitewater rafting is it still whitewater rafting <laughs> at a certain point. Yeah, it, it's no longer whitewater. Um, and I was looking at, it, I was like, okay, they got to have one white guy from Wyoming like manning the paddle. No, no, no I no. think it was all brothers having the GD time of their life. It was on TMZ like I don't know four days ago or or something, something. There they go. Something. Look at them go. Something That's scary. Like, so scary. But it's the opposite of prison. Is it that is. a, is that a white girl? There is a, a, there's there's a white, white people. There's a couple of white people. Uh, the girl's mix. The girl's mix. There's a white guy front. <laughs> look, oh. Where's that other guy? There shouldn't be there be the one other person the behind back, you, did he? The, but here's the thing that's crazy. The guide is black. No, but the guy is like on, three. Hold on. Who's that person? The, uh, quiet. <laughs> the guide in the back is a black man, which yeah. I mean is a weird... You don't see many Wyoming whitewater rafting mm-hmm. guides. So they got the brother on there, and I, I don't know if that's a Diddy thing, but Diddy's having a good time. But yes, there's a white guy up front Hilarious. paddling, possibly a white chick, but this could be mixed. I feel like that boat <laughs> is like, you know, there should be somebody behind Diddy, unless he fell off or out or her. Yeah. So he's uh, doing he is, that. Yeah. yeah. But he's doing the opposite of prison. Yeah. Okay. You don't know. This could have ended with some rape. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> we don't know how this video ended. It All was right. edited. So uh, I'm sorry. What's the next story? Uh Radio host has been fired for letting Joe Biden's team send scripted questions. A Philadelphia radio station has cut ties with the host who admitted to asking President Biden questions that were supplied to her by his team. Why are they, the radio stations firing them because they let she gave up her journalistic integrity or something? Mm-hmm. First things first. Okay. That's that. That's the only era we're living in now is softball questions because you'll never come back if mm-hmm. you get. You know, Gavin Newsom was in the studio eleven years ago. It's, he's not coming back. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Like so, if you get confrontational, then they never they don't come, come back. back. That's yeah. what. That's why they pick and. You got to think about it. Really think about this concept. Fauci blamed the right. And basically, the Walmart shopping, Bible thumping, knuckle dragging, gun hugging, Hannity viewers and Tucker Carlson viewers for not getting vaccinated. Okay. Never went on their show ever. Yeah, right. Went on MSNBC with much smaller ratings, preaching to people that were triple vaxxed already trying to get in a campaign to get people vaccinated and then blaming the folks who watch Fox for not getting vaccinated. So why not head Mm. to where the unvaccinated people are and tell them why they should get vaccinated because he would be eviscerated by Mm -hmm. the host. Mm -hmm. So people do not go to unfriendly places. And I don't think it's Oh, we have a we have a clip. All right, I don't think it's the host's fault. This is the new yeah. I feel like that, that's order. a it's a little. And when the White House goes, here's what. Listen, you're going to hear Kelsey Grammer on the show in 15 minutes. His people want talk about this. That's mm-hmm. what publicists do. They go talk about this, not about that. Right. Normally, you ignore it, but it's my um, Monica Lewinsky's coming on. Just to talk about her handbag line. <laughs> that's why she's coming on your show, and that's all she's going to talk, talk about. about. And then you're now you're in a weird position as a host because it's like can't talk about anything else. So anyway, we'll play the clips. Sorry. You each were uh, you asked four questions, and maybe that's what you were allowed to ask by uh, the campaign or the White House. But they were essentially the same questions, both interviews about accomplishments, progress in your respective state. What's at stake in the election? What he has to say about his debate performance and what he would say to voters who think uh, their vote doesn't matter or might sit this election out. 
were those questions given to you by the White House or did you have or the campaign or did you have to submit questions ahead of this interview? The questions were sent to me for approval. I approved them. Uh -oh. Okay, so the White House sent the questions <laughs> Girl, to you uh -huh. ahead of the interview. She played a fool. Yes. Okay. I, I got several questions, eight yeah. of them, and the four that were chosen were the ones that I approved. Okay. And the reason I ask is not a criticism of either view. It's just that if the White House is trying now to prove the um, the vim, vigor, acuity of the president, I don't know how they do that by sending questions first before the interview so that the president knows what's coming. When did the news, the, the news, the mainstream news, and I'm talking about everyone, like USA Today, Reuters, NBC, or whatever, all of them, they just woke up to the news like 10 minutes ago? Like, you don't, you don't see all the cards Biden has with the pre-questions yeah. yeah. and the preloaded and how to who to pick out in the in the crowd and what their question is? Like, this is all three years old, everybody. This is this, this is how he does it. Yeah, I feel this like for everyone, if you're interviewing the president of the United States, I, I feel like you would have to submit questions that they'd approve or they're sending you. Sir. Like, I don't feel like this is a, a shock that anybody, is anybody shocked about this? They're finding out that Joe Biden is severely mentally compromised and they found out 10 minutes ago when it's <laughs> been going on for three and a half years and everyone's been saying it. And when he's when he's uh -oh, in the debate and he's girl. terrible, everybody's like, this is really bad. But prior to that, he was going off questions that they had prepared him for, and he still didn't sound great. Like, right. I, uh -oh. I'm more concerned with how he fares when he knows what's coming. Yeah. It still seems like a shitty... So uh, the news is good. waking up to the news, which is a good chapter for us, <laughs> I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, Elton John mm. uh, couldn't hold it in while shopping for sneakers in France <laughs> and ended up pissing in a plastic bottle in the middle of a store. What? Yes. How did I miss this? So says the guy who runs a shop in uh, Nice. Elton came to the mm. shop on Monday afternoon with his two sons and a bodyguard and asked if there was a public restroom. He was told no. He pissed in a bottle in the middle of the store. Do we have a video? We do not have no, no <laughs> clips or vids. There's a couple. Uh, okay, a couple things. When emotionally, especially when you're a man of a certain age, and I'm getting there, <laughs> you cannot emotionally sign off on the piss before you get the answer to, is there a bathroom? <laughs> you have to emotionally not sign off and ask, because if you, sign, if you do that, the problem is, is you begin the piss clock as you're walking mm -hmm. to the counter asking to use the bathroom. Once you hear the word no, you've already started the countdown. Yes, you have. You have to emotionally be agnostic. You have to go, I'm going to go ask that storekeep if there's a bathroom I can use, but I'm not starting the piss clock yet. By the way, there was a bathroom. I'm sure of it. I hate when they do that. Yeah. They could have easily let Elton John use the bathroom, is what I'm saying. They chose yeah. not to. And he pissed in a bottle. I pissed in my daughter's diaper a month ago when I was coming over really? the hill. Two, you two didn't diapers. didn't even take it off her two first. Diapers. No, I didn't. <laughs> you're such <laughs> like, a bad give mom. That to me. But when you have that, when you get to that p place where you're like, it's coming, it's, it's, I have it's to on. figure out what I've to do. I've started the clock. I was stuck on Laurel Canyon and it wasn't moving. It's it, it, it's like in a sci-fi <laughs> movie. You pissed in a diaper in traffic? Yes, I sat in traffic and I took two of my daughter's diapers, the emergency diapers, because it was an emergency, and mm -hmm. I pulled my yoga pants down. And let me tell you something about Huggies, snug and dry. <laughs> Not a drop. Not a Not drop. A drop Nothing hit the seat. Nothing. And it was it was either the best day of my life or the worst. I couldn't. I started laughing because it's like, what are you going to do at this point? And it happened. And, and, it's a powerful and it, tale. <laughs> <laughs> inspiring. I felt really I'm like, I felt it. like really much. But I'm saying when you get to the place where you're like, this is the, like Elton got to that it, place. It's, it, here's what it is. In, in every sci-fi movie, when they realized they couldn't get the alien off the ship, they'd hit the self-destruct thing. Mm. And then for some reason, when they designed... <laughs> spacecraft someone would go well what are we going to do about the self-destruct and like i would have raised my hand and go i'm not sure we need this <laughs> like i don't feel like <laughs> airplanes have them or boats like i've done a lot of cruises i would be surprised if there was like a self-destruct yeah but like button on the we're cruise. gonna load this <laughs> spaceship up spaceship up with tnt that one day we're gonna use, yeah we have to have self destruct and, and there's like, a button that's easily accessible too yeah why do we need it so they go all right 
we we will we have to have the self destruct button that, and then they'll start a countdown mm-hmm. of self destruct and then I'd go okay but we have to have an override button yes. in case someone kills an alien ship <laughs> no no there will be no override <laughs> button I'm like well what if somebody hits it by me what if someone gets drunk what if the captain is like really depressed he finds out you know his wife's been cheating back on Earth and right. he drinks real hard and he hits the self destruct. Yeah. Shouldn't we have an override button mm-hmm. so we can stop mm-hmm. the countdown? <laughs> no. Okay, so that's how we're going to build this spaceship. Those are the rules. So they do it, and it once you hit the countdown, it's on. It's on. There is no override. Once you start the countdown, whether you're in traffic or in Nice. Or in Nice. Oh, it's, it's on. And there is no override. That's why you and Elton cannot be blamed. We can't be blamed, but he picked a bottle. He didn't go outside and just, like, let it rip in nature. Just, well, I'm guessing it was, like, crowded sidewalks. and. So where did he... He where, pulled it out, and, the, and he turned his back, and like a gentleman, <laughs> <laughs> and he filled the Sprite he, bottle. He probably had one of his sons there. Yeah. You know, hold, hold this bottle. All right. Yeah. I've mm-hmm. never filled a Sprite bottle. I don't know. And he said, hold me closer. You know? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Tiny pier. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, I don't know. He's 76 years old. Yeah, let him pee where he needs to pee. Also, they have a restroom. Where do their employees go? They could have let him. He's Elton John. I have literally, like, been to a place and bought 900 bucks worth of fucking shit. And yes. then went, like... Could I use the bat? Yes. No, sorry, that's just for the. Also, I know, I know, because you don't want homeless people vandalizing right. it. I get Absolutely. it. I just fucking bought nine hundred bucks worth of tools. Can I use this thing? Also, uh, also, 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 there is a look in a person's eyes that's like this is a desperate situation. This isn't just like I just want to pee before we hit the road again. This is I have to I'm pee now. Bubbling in yes. your eyes. <laughs> this is I'm either going to pee in your store on the floor right. or in your employee restroom. You right. choose which, mm-hmm. where it's going right now cuz I'm in physical pain. Yeah. And he was probably there. So let him probably pee. let Bernie Toppin use it the week before too. <laughs> <laughs> he totally did. You yeah, know he did. This is a gay thing. <laughs> All right, so he filled the bottle. Can I tell you the new who is lower in our society? Who is lower? The gum that you just spit into the urinal, which I see at every comedy club. Oh, I've never. Um, there's the spit the gum into the urinal, which means somebody's got to fish yeah, it out. Yeah. It's not going down. It's never going down the drain. It must be it doesn't go down manually the drain. See, I don't know this. fished no. out. Right. Okay. Or the other one I like, which is gum on top of the urinal, mm. which is like, I'm just done. I'm done with my gum. It's going somewhere. There's a trash can four feet behind me, but I don't get that kind of time, you know. Or the I have filled up. I, I drive a delivery truck or, or Uber right. or Uber Eats or whatever it is. I, I pissed in a bottle mm-hmm. and I just chuck it out. The f- I put the cap on and I just chuck it and then Adam can walk down the sidewalk and pass my glowing yellow uh, jars of piss. Who, That's a tough one. Who amongst us? I I, I think gum guy is. Yeah, I think gum guy is. Because yeah, you got to really get it's in It's less there. impactful. Yeah, but though. you want that piss out of your car. I understand. No, I get it. I have. I, I have put the cap done. On. You said I've put done, the cap on. I have done the piss in the in the bottle. Mm-hmm. When it comes time to dispose of it, it is a dumping it out into mm-hmm. a dirted area mm-hmm. kind of thing, shaking it out, cap back on, mm-hmm. and throwing it away somewhere. Yep. That's what I do. Yeah, Not I mean, let here's... share my gift with the neighbor. All right, here's the thing. I actually am going to go with the person who chucks the piss bottle mm-hmm. out the window because. Even though the person who dumps the gum in the urinal is an asshole, knowing that somebody else is going to have to do it, he knows exactly. He, it's going there. Someone else can see it. They know exactly what they're doing before they do it. With, with the piss bottle, you could just be walking down the street. I and a threw bottle, away somebody's piss bottle. And it could have hit them and just exploded on their somebody's face. Somebody's piss bottle was adorning the sidewalk behind this place, at my, my but, route. It was on the ground. You could have you could have gotten hit by. Could have that. lost an eye. <laughs> That's what happened lost. to my grandfather? <laughs> That's why my grandfather wore that patch. It was a piss bottle. I walked by this, you know, day glow yellow gleaming piss bottle for, uh, uh, about the fifth time I walked past it. I just picked it up and I walked <laughs> it over to a now. dumpster and, and I just you knew threw it, it wasn't like Mountain Dew. You knew it was like it somewhere. tasted like piss, bro. 
Would you ever pick somebody's gum out of the toilet? It was in like an Evian thing, you know. It was in a water. (laughs) And it tasted like piss. Yeah, it tasted like piss. Would you ever pull somebody's gum out of the urinal, though? I don't don't really. No, I don't. But I don't have much thought about that stuff. I would. If you gave me $5, I would do it. Five dollars? Five. Wow. Cash, you know. I've got $5. I'll do it. (laughs) I peed in a bottle in college once, and instead of throwing it out, I yeah. just put it in my buddy's mini fridge, mm. oh. and he got up the next day hungover and, no. and, and drank the entire thing. No, he didn't. Thing. He did not. Yeah. No, he didn't. Yeah. He what did he think piss. it was? Well, I, it was in a Mott's apple juice bottle, <gasps> so it was the perfect crime. He couldn't have drank the whole thing. He, but he, I think he, he could have it, it, you know, it was probably small, really cold. Small Mott's cold. thing. Got squatty one. So did he think anything of it? Oh, I, I was. it was in his fraternity house, and I woke up the next day. He just knew, like, his mind immediately went to me, and I got a phone call like, what the fuck? Why would you? And I was like, I, who, who goes into a mini fridge and drinks something that's not theirs? You know, you so many people yeah, in college, that's all, that's but so you. many people in you college. You stole college. somebody's mots. No, I did. I, I I shit into my own cereal box once, and when my roommate ate it, yeah. I was like, hey, bro. It's on you. Well, it's in you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You don't fuck with another man's cereal. Yeah. Sorry. One more. Uh, four swimmers were bitten by a shark off of Texas's South Padre Island this past weekend. The 4th of July holiday turned into a nightmare for beachgoers in the waters uh, in Texas after authorities said a shark bit four swimmers. The same shark. That's what they think, yeah. Wow. Mm. All at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I don't like – I know there's a video of it. I don't like seeing people bleeding. It makes me feel bad for them. Mm-hmm. And, and it's all people need to know. People – there. there's like – there's a group – so the the world can be – Broken off into three groups. Um, it's sort of like religion. You know, there's like born again Christians, there's agnostics, and there's atheists. The born again beach people are like, I'm going in the fucking water. I don't care mm-hmm. how much how hard the riptides pull in, and I don't care how big the sea is, and I don't care how rainy. Like, I'm fucking going in the mm-hmm. ocean, and I love the ocean, and I live in the ocean. Uh, and I'm kind of that way, in that I'll just jump in. I, I don't care. Let's do it. Um, and then there are guys that are, you know, they surf every day. They do whatever. That's 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 the born again, okay. you know. And then there's the agnostics, which are like the 13 year old kids are like, I don't know, it's a little rough, but I kind of want to cool off. But I'll I'll go in, but I'm I don't need to go in. But okay. uh, but if we're going to the beach and everyone else is going in, then I'll go in. And the, and then there's the atheist who's like, I'm not going in. I, there's nothing that can get me into that into that water. And it's all assigned at birth. It has nothing to do – people People way too much uh, nurture with kids. Mm-hmm. I got twins. I got a boy who does not want to go in the water and probably won't go under any circumstances. I got a girl who can't get enough of, of the water. This thing where people go, well, you should have worked with him or you should have taught – now that's who they fucking are. That's who they are. That's what they want. I'm not going to talk either one of them out of or into anything. He doesn't like it. She does. That's it. I'm – the guy who likes it, so I would tend to, to right. go in. But all right. What the shark attack hysteria stuff does is it takes the agnostics and it pushes them into the atheist yeah. category. Mm-hmm. The, the ones who are flirting with yeah. maybe, no can nope. do now. So that's all these fucking stories do. They do not stop the hardcore people no. from going in. They're going in anyway. If you surf, you surf. That's what you do. It's And the, the, the atheists weren't going in anyway. Mm-mm. It takes that big group of agnostics and it spoils their head mm-hmm. and gets them not to do it. And that's why I don't like shark bites. Let me just tell everybody out there who is now teetering or has gone to the atheist side of the oceans, and I know this because I work on a trivia show, Uh-oh. that more people die from vending machine accidents than from shark attacks. So there mm-hmm. you go. Wow. Mm-hmm. So think about that. Now you won't go to your vending machine anymore. Uh, so it's so rare that that happens. But four people, I mean, I feel, it sounds like they were asking for it, if you ask me. Yeah, they must have been <laughs> agitating that shark I in mean, some way. 
Discovery Channel needs a vending machine week. They yeah. do. Yeah. Yes. I would watch the shit out of that. <laughs> All the vending machines. Shaking the machine, sticking your hand in there. That's how it happens. Yeah. I, you know, I come from radio, <laughs> and radio comes, the people who are attracted to radio are some of the cheapest, weirdest, the saddest, people. angriest people ever. And I used to marvel at the notes that were on the vending machine yes. because the guy would only show up once a week, and there'd be somebody would be like, I paid a dollar and twenty five cents <laughs> May twenty first, nineteen ninety nine. Uh, I got no fresca. Nope. Uh, <laughs> I am owed a fresca. This is like a forty eight year old adult who was traumatized by a machine that didn't give them their fresca mm -hmm. after putting their eighty six cents in. Yep. No fresca. They go get a fucking post it. They write the date. They are owed a fresca. Because they paid for a fresca, and it's like, I'm, I'm a marvel at that. And when I think of a radio station, I think of a vending machine. I don't know yes, what it you is. Have you to. have yeah. to. It is. There's that vending machine just when you walk right in. That in the hospital, you, I always think of vending You machines. have to have a vending machine in radio because the radio community refrigerator, it's it's filled with so many fucked up people that you can't keep food right. in there. And, and Joe's piss. Yeah. And it's then also, Joe's piss. <laughs> it's also in there. Then you get the notes, you know, uh, December 17th, half a yo play yes. with my name, Cheryl Ann, was in that, you know, and somebody took it and I, I demand justice for my yo play. Like... Everyone has their a fucking Tupperware or mm -hmm. half a sandwich that was missing. <laughs> and I'm like, you guys are all adults, adults and you make good money. What are we doing here? And it's like, we're pissed about what went on <laughs> in this fridge and this vending machine. And there are notes all over it. And it's always to, to whoever stole, mm -hmm. no, to whoever thought it was okay yeah. to f finish or throw out my half a yo play. You know, it's like, you just so 45-year-old people <laughs> writing these notes. It's the people that write the notes, but also the people that do that. I would never go into a fridge and just eat someone else's no. half-eaten sandwich. Ever. I Ever. Well, to be fair, <laughs> to, I, no. To be, it was head cheese, you know. You can't leave, you can't wave that in front of a hungry DJ. No, it, they probably eat half, the half that the person didn't eat. Gross, even grosser. <laughs> Well, it's not even grosser. It's less gross. Less gross. No, uh, no. You're eating someone's half-eaten yo play. No, you're eating someone's half-eaten yeah. sandwich. I'm eating the half that wasn't eaten. Okay. All right. That's I'm fair. saying it's less. Okay, but, yes. but I'm not, I'm not defending. <laughs> I'm saying <laughs> I don't want to be the attorney for the guy who steals his sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> At least, you know, gentlemen. Uh, um, but uh, there's something about that refrigerator that becomes like some sort of thunderdome, mm, some sort yeah. of lawless. It is. I'm guessing like Texas in 1781 or something where <laughs> there was no sheriff. People just made their own law. You know, there's no rules that people abide by. There's no gravity in there. Yeah. Uh, it is. You're taking. It, it's, it's it's you're risking your own peril when you leave something 100%, in there, even with your name on it. Then there are the people who leave stuff in there for perpetuity and nobody because it's no one's job to clean it out. Yeah. And mm -hmm. there's that, but it's always just a a shit show. It is uh, the vending. So you have to have, have, to have, have the vending. You have machine. to have the vending machine. But even that does not stop the host of post-it notes God, about yeah. people have been slided at the. Did vending anybody machine. ever get their money back? Has anybody ever gotten their money back from a vending machine? I, I guess it's incumbent upon the guy who shows up once a week to make these people whole again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he has and to they've had to wait. So like, if he came out on Monday and this incident happened on a Tuesday, they have to wait that whole week. Yes. So it's just stewing And, and they have them. to time it because the guy oh, with yeah. the hand truck's only in there for about 10 so minutes. So quick. And He's he tries to and get out. in and out. He doesn't want any contact with anyone. And they can go look at those pretzels, see them hanging there. I ordered right. them and they never yeah. fell. Those chads that are just dangling there. Dangling. <laughs> Dawson, any experience with a vending machine? Uh, I, I got money back from a vending machine <gasps> multiple I times. Knew it. I knew it. When I was in elementary school. What? Elementary school. And 50 school. cents was hard to come by. Oh, really? What if happened? If it didn't deliver, if, if, the, if it didn't deliver your thing, we went to the janitor. Oh, all right. Like, your machine wow. ate my money. All right. We, we weren't rich. 
Yeah, oh, I, I get it. You right. know, now, did you ever job. do the? You ever do the like the the plastic dollar? Put it in and pull it out. Like I always uh, figured I was even for how much I stole from them. I never machines. did that. Did oh, that work? Oh yeah. You yeah. Take, there were like, a lot of grips. There were a lot of grips. Scotch tape yeah. the end of it with them, and you put it all the way in, and then you yank it out. Oh my god. The best grip was pantyhose. Oh, there you go. You lay pantyhose, it was especially over those dispensers. Was on the washing machines, they worked really well. You line up your quarters, you put a thing of pantyhose underneath the thing, and then you place your quarters in them. Oh. Push it in, pull it out, and then all the quarters your quarters stay. Oh, nice. my God. Yeah. Everybody listen to that. My only <laughs> grift I really had was those sort of half porn newspapers that used to be in those weird tin vending machines oh, out, yeah. outside. Mm-hmm. If you pop, if you smack the top hard enough, like a real Fonzie top hit, and pulled the bottom handle, <laughs> it was same time. timed just perfectly. You could just pop it, and it would pop open, and you could get like a, a you know a free frisky newspaper because <laughs> nothing's better than you know porn in black and white <laughs> with so good. super large so pixels, good. big areolas, and lots of pixels. I, so good. I yeah. didn't get my fresca. I'm getting my frisky. Get my frisky. <laughs>